hello friends welcome to my youtube channel learning videos so in this video lecture we are going to see find the maxima and minima of this function what is the function function is x square plus y square plus 3x minus 3y plus 4 so we need to find maxima and minima of this function so for the previous experiments or previous code you can check my watch list with the uh, created by name as uh, mathematics lab and if you have any doubts in this section please comment in the comment section and uh, please do subscribe to my youtube channel that will motivate me so now first thing what is the question question is find the maxima and minima of this function function is x square plus y square plus 3x minus 3y plus 4 equal equal to 0 okay so this is the function so now first thing we are going to import sim5 Okay, that is a module so i'm importing star means as said previously each and every module of the simpy or methods of the simpy i am importing okay next i am making symbol x and y okay as symbol so the variables x and y will be treated here as symbols okay, which we are going to use for our mathematical expression so now i am declaring the function over here what is the function function is x raised to 2 so here star star means raised to 2 so that this represent as x square for our python okay so if it is 2x means so i need to write x into 2 so since it's x square so x square square uh, sorry x star star 2 plus y square y star star 2 plus 3x so 3 into x minus 3 y 3 into y plus 4 equal to okay 4 plus 4 so next i need to calculate the derivative of this so for that i have given uh, so i am creating a variable called as d1 so d1 equal to i'm calling the function called as derivative okay so this will calculate the derivative of this function so i need in the brackets i need to pass the function so on which function i need to calculate the derivative so that is on f i need to calculate the derivative comma with respect to what you need to calculate the derivative that is with respect to x okay so dot doit means it will calculate the functions like integrals and all so we are using it to calculate the values of integrals so for this there is a different method as well uh, so uh, like in the previous video we had used a method called as diff so if you want we can use that like ux equal to diff so you can see a diff function okay so now i need to pass the function and i need to pass with respect to what i am uh, uh, like i am doing it with i am differentiating that with respect to x so if you want i am going to print over here I'm going to print ux and even I'm going to print d1. So let us check whether both derivatives are same. So you can see I'm uh, printing ux and d1. So let me run this first. Okay. So here, it, yeah, you can see over here the highlighted portion that is differentiation with respect to diff method or D1 means the difference with respect to derivative method. So any method for your convenience, you can choose. So for, for now, I'm going to remove this. Okay, I'm going to keep it as it is. Okay. So let me minimize, close this. Okay. So now, so D1 here on the line number six, I'm going to calculate the derivative with respect to x. So on the line number two, I'm going to differentiate the function with respect to y. So next, what I'm doing over here is I'm calculating the critical point. So how we are going to calculate the critical point? I'm naming it as critical point one. So I'm, how I'm going to calculate? I'm using a method called as solve. So solve method will solve our derivative d1 means derivative and give me the value of x or y. Okay. So here you can see I'm printing this on the line number nine. I'm printing critical point one just for your reference. So I'm going to run this. So you can see critical point one is minus three by two. Okay. So if you want for your learning purpose, I can do something like this. So let me have a, a variable called as j, j equal to okay three x, okay three x plus two. So j value is three x plus two. So let me have a variable called as k. 
okay and let me use the method solve on it and let me pass this variable j next i'll print k let us check what the value will we will get for the value of k so i am using solve method on this px plus 2 if i run this yeah you can see what i'm getting it's minus 2 by 3 how uh, if we solve this so for the value of x i'm getting minus 2 by 3 so i'll remove this okay let me continue with this okay so next what i'm doing is i'm calculating the critical point 1 i'm solving for d1 next i'm using solve method on d2 so that will be i'm storing that value i'll be storing it in critical point 2 okay next I'm creating one more variable called as s1 so i'm calling out the function derivative that will do differentiation for me on the function f with respect to x two times okay so i'm doing this differentiation two times if you want okay you can use this function d1 comma x so that will do you do the same thing for you why because i'm differentiating this function for the two times so s2 what i'm doing in s2 same thing, I am differentiating the function with respect to y for 2 times. So, that will be stored in x2. So, d1 means derivative for 1 time, d2 means derivative of y for 1 time, s1 means derivative of x for 2 times, and s2 means derivative of uh, on the function with respect to y for 2 times. Okay. So, let me check what is s3. s3 is derivative on the derivative function. So, I am using, so this, the highlighted portion, Okay, highlighted portion will differentiate the function with respect to y. Okay, then that value I'm going to differentiate with respect to x. Okay, so next, so this is a simple print statement which will print the function value is. So now I'm using a substitute method. So what I'm doing it over here is on s1, like in this, in s1, so whatever value I have got after differentiation of the function twice with respect to x in that function in that uh, equation i am going to substitute the value of y as critical point 1 and value of x as critical point 2 so wherever i get x value uh, y value i will be substituting critical point 1 value that we have uh, calculated over here okay that we have calculated over here so you can see this so we have calculated the critical point 1 and 2 value so that value will be substituting so s1 dot substitute s2 dot substitute and s3 dot substitute evaluate uh, sorry eval uh, will evaluate your equation for certain number of uh, floating point values okay so next so i am substituting this in s2 as well and in s3 also i am substituting the value of y and x okay so lastly i am calculating the delta value so what is the delta value s1 into s2 minus s3 square so as I had said, what is uh, star star means? Star star means S3 raised to 2. So S1 into S2 minus S3 square. Okay. So lastly, I am printing the value of delta and Q1. That is this value, Q1. Okay. So now I am checking, I have defined some equation, sorry, some uh, if statement. So what does that state? If the delta value, that is this value on the line number 70 that I had calculated, if it is greater than 0 and this S1 value that we have calculated over here, S1 value that we have calculated over here, if it is less than 0, then F will take, so it will print F takes maximum. If both the values are greater than 0, so it will print F takes minimum. If delta value is less than uh, 0, then it will print the point is a saddle point. Okay. If delta value is 0, so further test we require, we cannot predict as it is. Okay. So this it will print. So let me run this. We can see the function is so this is the value of delta and this is the for 2.000 is the value of q so this is the value of q okay so so f takes so this is in this state that is this block of code will be executed and it says that f takes minimum value i hope guys you have like i have made the code clear for you to finding the maxima and minimum of the function so if you have any doubts regarding this so you can comment me in the comment section please do like my video and please do subscribe to my channel okay uh, so let us break for today
bye guys have a good day